Good morning, guys. This is Kenzo Extra Hot Forex. Uh, this is our daily analysis. It's Friday, guys. I hope everyone had a very great week as we had a very nice one. So, what do we see here? We see a very, very simple, straightforward structure. Uh, actually, here the market was going down for some time. You can see Euro USD was just going down for some time. So, why do we start with Euro USD? The reason is uh, Euro USD is an actually actually is an indicator for our trading uh, as we trade indices. It's an indicator for our indices. When we see Euro USD pushing up, uh, most likely 70% of the time, uh, the market when we check the Nasdaq and US data, you will find them also doing what going up. If you see the market going down like this. And if you go back and check uh, your indices, you will find that they were all going down. You see that? You see? So here we are. It's Friday. So the market just broke. Let me just uh, show you what happened. Yeah, I think it's fine this way. Uh, the market was just respecting this area for some time. You can see we had a breakout. Then that breakout created something like a support or resistance. It was a support from this area. Then here it's a reward, it's a resistant. And that resistant, we did not take it slightly. So we can see that it was continuing. You can see it was just pushing far. You can see that. So even if we had a breakout for us to say now it's time for us to buy, it means we were supposed to move above this area, above this level here. So the market played around, you can see, but it was not breaking this resistant. Then after, boom, the market broke, retest. You can see now there's like four or five retests that you were, you were going to take. So the market here is ready. I think today, just make sure uh, you have your orders nice. We're going to hold these things until next week. I think the market is going to push a little bit higher. You can see here the market created something like that. Let me just use one hour time frame so that we can see exactly what's really happening. So the market is on bullish momentum. Don't play around with your sell positions because the market is going to punch you. So you see this area, I was talking about this area yesterday. Uh, you see this, the market respected this area again, several times here again. If maybe you re you rechecked my previous video, you were not going to get uh, miss this uh, entry CUA or small, uh, even if there's no big move, but I think you were going to get some nice opportunities here. I think the market later on is going to create something like this as a an uptrend, as an uptrend pushing higher. You see. So for today, for today, the market, I see the market pushing higher and higher. As long as we are still above this line here, and we no longer we no longer uh, below this resistant line. So it means we no longer under pressure. We no longer under pressure uh, from bearish, uh, so we can see that the market is about to do it to push up. So here it means you can just wait. Let's say this is sort of a signal. You can just, if maybe you did not get your positions here, you can just wait for the market to reach this level here. Then you can have a nice buy. So if maybe the market doesn't do that, it means you can just wait because the market can still push up. The market can create something like this. Then this area, you see this area, I think the market might create something like a resistance. So if the market breaks out, you can wait for the market to come retest, push up, come retest here, then push up. This is a signal, even if it's, it, it, it's not happening like now, but you can see it uh, happening. You can see if the market is going to create something like this, you're not going to miss these opportunities. You see. So Today, uh, Euro USD is on bullish momentum. I don't think maybe there's something else that maybe uh, is going to stop that until maybe we see this area broken. Maybe we can see now the market is now moving lower. But at the moment, I see the market is on a very nice bullish momentum. So please, guys, don't forget to smash that subscribe button, like, share with your friends. Let's grow the channel. And the channel is growing thanks to everyone who, who already subscribed, guys. Thank you very much. So for you to not miss uh, some good stuff, 
check my description you will find my telegram group where you're going to find some free robots mt4 robots and mt5 robots free signal systems in there like thousands of them you're going to get them in there for free sometimes i also send the signals in there and like some updates that you can like really a daily updates uh, you will find them there so it's like the whole package so we are on us oil guys on us oil everything is quite straightforward quite simple if you still remember I just thrown this thing so that you get used to this moves i don't remove this because i know if you if you watch this thing several times you'll end up understanding okay these things they are not moving away because they just repeat themselves so i'm also have to uh, i also have to put them here so that you see so the market yesterday was somewhere around here i think uh, let me zoom that the market it was somewhere as you can see this is an uptrend it's a very nice uptrend if maybe you want to see some full how this thing moves or whatever how we draw this uh, support line please go back check my previous video you will find some nice some nice uh, analysis on how to draw that so here we see that the market is still pushing up we are on a very nice uptrend you can see that so but the market is creating something like this you see so now here i expect the market to break this area and do something like this before pushing up because the market has been doing that something like that you see so but if you just draw only the trend line it's not easy to get the market around these levels because you can see the market is creating this resistance that up, that resistance after is going to be what our our support that resistance is now becoming our support that resistance is becoming our support so even though we are on an uptrend we see that the market is just doing something like this you can see something like this you see so you should realize that you should see that uh, before you even try to place an order so don't look for sell positions around these areas guys just wait for the market to reach this area where you know you're going to buy or if maybe the market is breaking this area you can just buy immediately after it breaks or maybe you can wait for a retest then you can buy why because this is an uptrend the market is going up so we don't go against the trend i hope you understand that guys i hope you understand that so on us oil we expect the market to still push up even if maybe it can just play around try to play around here the market is still bullish unless or until the market is going to break this area here so for if maybe you want to take let's say you want to take us oil so it means if it breaks you can just jump on it but if not it, you can just wait for the market to reach this area and when it start to create some bullish momentum you can just buy around that then maybe it will push up so if it breaks here the market can push higher before it can come back and retest it's called breakout you see if it breaks here you can just jump on it because we are already there we're already here so it means there's possibility that the market can just break jump in then the market will go up then after when it comes back here then it's where you're going to get another position until the market pushes lower we still we just going to enjoy our bullish momentum you see i hope you understand that i hope you understand that guys i hope you have a very nice week or friday because now it's friday so next week should be another winning streak because this week was our winning streak even if we did not have so many trades but every trade that we took uh, they paid us every trade that we took paid very nicely so we are on gold now you can see it's gold the structure is still there simple straightforward you don't have to change it if if it still makes sense if everything still makes sense you don't have to change anything why when you look our in our left we can see the market was doing this was just going down after that breakout then uh, now we see a ranging market another thing what that we see is a breakout again then we are here so what do we do uh, when we see structures like this so structures like this sometimes they will just confuse you and if if you don't have rules you just uh, like to trade without any reason 
uh, you just just go to jump on the market and the market will just punch you so this thing guys is still bullish remember when we say don't go against the uh, the trend this thing still bullish we see the market just broke that if i can try to force things here i can see that i see something like a, an uptrend you can see i see something like an uptrend you see that so it's possible because i can see that the market before we see this breakout the market was just playing around and respecting this area here maybe now the market can just come and respect this area before pushing up or it's possible that the market can even come around this resistance and respect it before we say the market is about to push up yes there will be people who sell and some of them will still make money but just look at this just if you just forget your order for five minutes when you come back uh, the market is here what will you do some of you mostly you don't even place the stop loss so the best thing that you can be safe is be in the in the right direction be on the right side being on the right side of the market it doesn't mean that you're going to win everything you see but if you follow the trend it's much easier than just going around playing around because this thing guys you will lose if you don't follow the rules you will lose if they don't tell you i'm telling you that if you don't follow the rules you're going to lose you see you can win now but in the long run uh, one way or another uh, the market is going to show you who is boss so here i expect the market to come retest or respect this area before we can see another push another push but i'm not saying this is a valid area but i can just see now that this area might be a very nice area or maybe we might see the market reaching these areas it's also fine so it means actually the best thing that we can do at the moment let's just wait for the market to present itself uh, to us let the market do its structures then we will draw our our trend line according to what we see on the charts so we don't just have to predict things uh, that we don't see so we don't have to do that we don't have to go that far and that also makes us to lose when you just think that the market is going to do this you end up losing because you don't have a baking uh, uh, a structure like something that you can say this is an evidence the market has done this maybe the market is going to do that so this is a new structure guys. so it's possible it's possible that uh, the market might push lower or push up we don't know so it's better to relax on on on, on gold so let's go to nasdaq 100 so with this kind of moves uh, you see that so we are forced to go to a four hour time frame why we need to see what's really happening we need to see what uh, what is really happening remember a few days ago uh, or a few weeks we had this very strong bearish momentum just pushing everything lower you see and it's still there we still go on that you can see that so now the market tries to recover and we see now when we draw our support this thing creates something like a wedge so it means we are exactly on that resistance so there is possibility that the market can respect this area as it always do you can see and see a push lower a push lower why because this is just a a wedge actually this is a wedge so the market can just play around before we see a breakout or maybe a breakout on our support area so it means when you see the market doing something like that as i'm always bullish it means i'm just going to relax around these areas then if maybe i see that breakout if i see breakout here then i'm just going to jump on it why because i can see the market is trying to recover nicely so it means i can just jump on the market after i see a very clear a, a very clear uh, breakout then i will jump on the market and expecting the market to push higher why because it shows that the market is on a very nice bullish or the the opposite can also happen you might see the market doing what it's used to do here you can see the market used to respect then we might see the market pushing lower so if you want to be in this maybe if you want to trade nasdaq today uh, it's either your son whatever 
but I'm just waiting for the market to break this area. If it's not broken, I'm just going to wait for the market to reach this the support area before I can say I buy. I hope that was very, very um, straightforward and clear to understand, you see. So without wasting your time, let's go uh, straight to US 30. US 30 is also doing the same thing uh, that we see on that we see on 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 Nasdaq. So let's see on a bigger time frame if maybe we're going to find the same thing or similar thing. Uh, let me delete this. I just want to see something. I want to see if we have a valid uh, resistance from the top. If uh, we don't have that, uh, we just leave it like that. I see we have this area here. You see that? So we're going to use this area as our resistance. You see that? So we're marking that. Please mark that on your chart. You see that? So if maybe you want to find some diagonal resistance and stuff like that, I don't think we have that. Let me check. Let me check. We don't have to force these things, guys. If we, let's say, if maybe we have, we had that, it means then it's broken. It means then it's broken. If maybe we had that, it means it's no longer there. It means that you can see, the, even if maybe we can start it from here, it was going to reach somewhere. If, if we apply that, it means we just have to wait for the market to retest, then boom, we, the market can still push up. I hope you see that. I hope you see that. So after after let me just let it be like here let me delete this and use a fresh one start from here going back you can see that uh, we have something we have something which is uh, valid we can do something like this Uh, something like this can be like uh, let me just take a call I think something like this is what we want at the moment mm, sorry sorry guys uh, some clients so we see that we have a very nice uh, resistance you can see that but that uh, was not really that strong because you can see the market just broken that very easily so it means if you are not in the market at the moment you can just wait for a retest boom, then the market can push up. So, but remember, around this area, it's also what? It's also a resistance. So if you are in the trades, make sure that you close your things very quickly. Sorry, very quickly. I mean, before the market reaches this area because the market might bounce. The market might bounce back. So uh, you might lose your profits by just holding longer. So it means if you're going to have a trade here, I think I'm going to have a trade here. I'm going to send a signal. I think the market is going to retest before it pushes up. But guys, with this move, with this recovery, and if you check all over the, the, the indices, they're just going up. It means we might see a breakout. On Monday, you might see a breakout around this area. So we might, we, we might see that. So we have to check this thing. We don't have to miss these moves so that uh, next week we will be in a very nice profit so before you sleep today you must have your buy pending order and on monday maybe we might have a, a, a gap then that gap maybe you might find uh, it's going to be in your favor you see so what i see here i see that the market just broke uh, our resistance waiting for a small retest uh, let me just zoom that waiting for a small retest before we can say oh some they can just get aggressive and say no we see this is a nice breakout then we can just jump on it because this is a four hour time frame so it means when we go to a bit small time frame we're going to see a very nice move so what the overview for today uh, is simple as that wait for a small rejection then buy it's something like that so i hope you understand that go, don't complicate things guys if the market is going to go against you it's fine have your stop loss and you're out you can't always be right you see you should know this if you are a real trader you should know that sometimes you're going to lose not sometimes most of the time we lose but the thing is we stay in the game longer 
then one way or another, we always win. We don't risk that much that we, tomorrow, we no longer have something to trade. So that is something that people, they don't tell you. If you have a, an account that you can trade for the whole year without with depositing, I mean, you have everything. You have everything. So you can do that. Trade with small lot sizes. Make sure you don't panic. You don't, as long as you make something small every day, that's something small, it will just count as your uh, uh, compound in there. That might add something, you see. So what do we see here? Uh, let me just remove the old ones here. They no longer means, uh, to, uh, they no longer valid because the market violated that. So we see now that uh, this is, is a four hour time frame. We reached our resistance. And if you check, that resistance is very strong, guys. Just look at these areas. Every time the market reaches that area, the market just run away from that area. This is a very strong area here. You can see we expect the market to shoot lower. But if that doesn't happen, it means that we will see a breakout, which we're going to do what? We're going to buy. Above this resistance line, we're going to buy. You see. So, but around this area, it's time for other people to do what? To sell which is something that I don't do. And I can see that it's a good opportunity for them to sell, you see. Since we stay by the rules, we stick by the rules. We don't change the rules when something looks good. We stick to the rules, you see. So here I can see this is a four hour time frame and it seems like the market is trying to respect that, you see. But with this bullish momentum pushing up like that, uh, it might show that uh, the bullish uh, momentum is still there. We might see another shoot up maybe then we can say now we in again on the buy side so that is my overview for for German 30 you see that's my overview for German 30 i think if this uh, this area is not respected we're going to see the market pushing higher even on nasdaq us 30 those resistance i see uh, they might be broken but it's also possible that they might be respected i'm not just saying uh, it's a must for them to break now. I'm just saying because of this strong bullish momentum, we might see a, a, a breakout. But sometimes the market, uh, it shows that the market here is still strong on the bearish. And we see that uh, the market is trying to respect that. It means it's possible that the market can still push lower. But if it pushes lower, it will find us waiting around this support area. It's where we're going to say what? We're going to buy around this area if it keeps pushing lower. I hope you understand that, guys. If you don't smash that subscribe button, I no longer know what you want, guys. So, and you know, and most people who watch my video, like 40% of them, they are not subscribed. And they, unfortunately, they just watch my videos every day. Please, guys, support me as I always support you. Then it's a 50-50, guys. When you just hit that smash uh, that you, when you smash that subscribe you don't lose anything so yeah so we are on france 40. these things guys I've, i i preached about these things for so for so long now and it's like it's a repetition because i used to say guys do you see this resistance do you see this resistance if the market breaks here we are just waiting for a retest just look what happened look what happened there just look if you were in the market. I did eat, but not on France Posi. I, I I ate on US and, and and Nasdaq. But it's the same move, similar move, and we can see that the market is still doing that. You see, the market is still pushing up. So let me remove this because it's been there for some time. And then the what I like is the market respected that. So now we are at these levels. So we have to find a, something like a resistance where we should be aware if maybe the market is going to, if the market is going to respect that. So I don't know, guys, I don't know, but I don't see a very proper, yeah, maybe we can say this is another area maybe where we can say, let's see, let's see here. Yeah. Where we can see maybe the market respected that area. One, two, one, two, three. Let me just 
if let's just use a bit smaller time frame and see how many times uh, did the market respect that mm, yeah it's not bad it's not bad but i see the market is trying to respect that so let's just wait for the market to give us a structure here i think the market is, is doing that but also we can have another thing like something like this to to confirm uh, this move we can see the market was just creating something like that if maybe you want to sell you can say okay just because i'm using trans lines if the market breaks this it's where i'm going to sell if not maybe the market is going to try to push up i hope you see that this is an analysis but at the same time you can use this as your signal you can just do the same thing if this is broken you can say now i'm selling if this uh, resistance is broken you can say now it's time to do us to buy you see so please guys if you want free signals free um let's say free robots free signal indicators check my description you will find my telegram for your mt4 and mt5 so you will find those things for free in there i hope those maybe might help you then if you want to be in the group it's still 15 dollars guys you can just join me it's easy just contact me on my telegram or whatsapp i'll let you know how to to, to do your things and you'll be in the winning team this is kind of extra hard forex i hope you're going to have a very nice friday bye